Hello, so what is going on, guys? It's Timothy Ryan here, back with another video. So, to this video, guys, I'm going to teach you how to see your full PC specification in Windows. For me, I'm using a Microsoft Windows 8.1 Pro. So, you might need, you might, um, in Windows 10 or Yep, Windows 10 or Windows 7, you might have a different UI or interface or something. So, you can use Win, I mean, settings, you can use set settings in Windows 8.8, 8.1, and 10. So, here in, um, what do you call this, Windows 8, you can also do this in, what do you call this, Windows 10. So, go right here, go and search for settings. You can see PC settings and for me I'm gonna go with PC devices and devices and go with PC info or if you're using a Windows 10 I don't know how to but there's a search button there at the top so just click search and then type PC info info Click that and it will go right here. So you can see your product ID, your processor for me it's in Intel Core i3 540 3.07 gigahertz processor. I have a 8 gigabytes of RAM and the usable is only 7.74 because I am using a 64 bit operating system. You can also see if your win Windows is activated in the settings. For example, you are using an older version of Windows such as Windows 7 or Windows Vista. You can see your PC specification in two ways. And in Windows 8.1, 8, Windows 10, you can see your PC specification in three ways. So the second one, or the first one for Windows 7 and below is going into control panel. So type control panel. Right here at control panel, just go in. Where is it? Network and internet. I mean, not. Sorry. System and security. And then click system. You can see right in here Windows 8. With the Windows, I, I, I am using Windows 8 with Windows 8.1 update. So you can see also your processor, your installed memory or random access memory or RAM, the system type for, of course, 64 bit for mine, and then if there's a pen and touch input into your computer. For example, you are using a Surface Pro or something, and yeah, you can. This, this is not right here. So, yeah. Next, the third way in Windows 8, 8.1 and 10 is, and I mean the second in Windows 7 and below, is going into, I mean, opening Win, I mean, run, so typing by clicking Win plus R and then type MS Info, MS Info 32. So it will open the system information thing, which as you can see a lot of details right here first is your OS name version the second of other OS description OS manufacturer system name system manufacturer system model system type system SKU processor BIOS SM BIOS version embedded control version BIOS mode baseboard manufacturer baseboard model baseboard name, platform role, secure boot, PCR7 configuration, windows directory, system directory, boot device, locally, hardware abstraction layer, username, time zone, installed physical memory or RAM or random access memory, total physical memory, available physical memory, total virt virtual memory, available virtual memory page file space and page file so this are now hyper-v virtualization so the one is hyper-v monitor mode extension second one is hyper-v second level 
address translation extension, Hyper-V visualization en enabled in firmware, that's the third, and uh, Hyper-V data execution protection in the last. So yep, that's how you can do it. So there's three ways in Windows 8, 8.1 and 10, and only two ways in Windows 7 and below. And I think it only I mean, the Windows, I mean the MSM though I think is only for Windows MT, I mean NT. That's only available for Windows NT. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the thumbs up, don't dislike, hit the subscribe, and don't be whack. Bye bye.